Say my. We are done. back to Todd Family Farm. Today is Wednesday, September 1st. It is already September, but today we are going to be putting the fenders that we went and picked up in the last video. Um, we're going to be putting those onto the semi. We're going to get started on that. Hopefully they go on well and it's not too hard. Okay, so we're going to take we'll go this from... off and put these on. We'll go from one to the top. Okay, well, Abby, she's a sweetheart. She didn't do the aftermath, but I really bashed my finger good. And uh, you can see I ended up going, I didn't say nothing, I guess. I don't say a lot. And I whipped blood everywhere. So you can see it started squirting pretty bad real quick. But I got it wrapped up. So what I did is the breaker bar ended up having my finger in the wrong spot. So it slipped smash my finger and there's even over here I guess so kind of sprayed it everywhere but we're gonna open up and look at it so avert your eyes if it's very bad but hopefully stop bleeding but kind of got it good so not terrible but we'll probably go in and clean it up and get it packaged up correctly but it sure did blow out the end pretty bad so I just glued it back shut we have what we call a trauma bag so We've got like tourniquets and sea flocks, uh, Israeli bandage there. So that's Israeli bandage. We kind of take care of ourselves. We staple ourselves shut <laughs> if we have it instead of stitches, but I've got a suture kit in there and we staple. We got, we use vet bond to glue it back. So I use vet bond to glue that back shut. So it's glued shut now. We have everything. We've got gauze, we've got packing agents, ammonia wipes, we've got ammonia. I mean, keep people awake. So this is what we call a trauma bag. There's our suture kit, chest wound uh, kit there. So this is our trauma bag. We've got, I think I have, yeah, we have a uh, sea locks. That's a hemorrhaging clotting agent. So when things get bad, we pull this one out. So we've got a, a tourniquet there and um, we can handle quite a bit out here. We're pretty capable of first aid and uh, EMSing out here. So this is what we're gonna do to try to keep people alive or ourselves. So this is what we call a trauma bag and got glue in there. I glued it back shut, we're gonna let it dry and then I'm just gonna wrap it up normal. But uh, it, it could have been a lot worse. It didn't rip the skin off. It didn't rip the skin completely off so I was able to glue it back down after it stopped bleeding. So it doesn't look too bad at this point. Hurts like the Dickens, bud like crazy, but it, I don't think it chipped the tip of the bone and. Uh, we were able to glue it shut, so it'll eventually heal. Today, Mama is processing apples, so she's inside doing that, and we'll come up here, get a little glimpse of her doing that, and then maybe even do a little music montage of it. We'll see. <laughs>
that is what's going on inside. So now it's back to putting the fenders on the semi. Okay, so it is now the next day, and um, so yesterday we were working on the fenders. We got the old ones taken off, and we were going to start to put the new ones on. And then a part actually came in for the 27 that we had been waiting on. Uh, the 27, it had been drifting really bad whenever we're going down the road. You have to constantly be turning the steering wheel to keep it straight. And so we took this steering valve off and we sent that away to get fixed and it came back in yesterday and since we aren't going to be using the semi till next year obviously getting this 27 up and running is a much higher priority than getting the fenders put on the semi so yesterday we actually stopped putting on the fenders and we worked on the 27 for the rest of the day and got the steering valve put back on it is much 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 better now it's back up and running good so that is good and today we are going to be putting the fenders back on so that's what we're going to be working towards now so there's the fender we got the old ones taken off and got this put in okay we're gonna unhook the trailer to make it a little bit easier to work on Okay, so update. We are trying to put this thing, it goes right here, and this is what helps hold secure the fender. Um, but what we didn't realize, or what we forgot, was that there were two different sizes of bolts from the old fenders that we took off that ran through here, and we don't know exactly why there were two different sizes. But so now the bolt that goes through here to hold this will not go through. So make this hole bigger. So that's what we're going to try and do now. They might be Making progress. Okay, we are done. So we got it figured out. We got them put it on, and we're gonna hook it back up. Okay, it's done. It turned out nice. They look good. That will stop rocks from flying up and hitting the window.